these Devon alternatives keep popping up left and right. Introducing Devon. This is the latest open source pair programmer and it's something that's officially live and ready to use today. It's quite similar to Devon by Cognition Labs but comes with a unique set of features and it's designed to enhance your coding experience. For example, you have multi-file editing, you have code base exploration, you have config writing, test writing, bug fixes, and so much more. Just take a look at this video example. So in this example, Devon is going to be able to create the game of life, which was an example that Devon did quite well in terms of generating the code as well as the game. Now, Devon is actually able to replicate the same sort of generation. And the reason why this is such a great example is because many large language models fail to actually create this game. But due to the configuration as well as the prompt templates that are given to the agents within these frameworks, it's able to replicate and generate this game of life. So let's just take a look at this example. You first start off with the prompt where you basically tell Devon to create the game of life in Pygame. And basically, within a couple of seconds, you're gonna to start to see different sorts of task lists that the agents are listing, and they work on finding a solution to create this game. So all these different multi-agents that are deployed by Devon are working together to create this game. And within a couple of seconds, you're gonna be able to get the code as well as being able to play this game, which you can see right here. On this channel, we've actually covered multiple different Devon alternatives. But what sets Devon apart from all these other alternatives is that they are using Anthropic as their backbone for their AI agents. They are utilizing Anthropic's API key as a backbone because they have structured their framework to revolve around this large language model. Now, sooner or later, they are going to be integrating other large language models, but they have structured this framework so that it revolves around Anthropic, which is different from all the other frameworks that are out there that utilize OpenAI's API key. Now, throughout today's video, we're going to be showcasing how you can get started with Devon, showcasing its features, and so much more. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned. Let's get straight into the video. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month, we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a Patreon this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. So after talking about this framework, you might be wondering how can you get started and how you can try it out? Well, you can install this locally and there's a couple of prerequisites that you'll need to have fulfilled beforehand. You need to make sure that you have Node.js as well as NPM. If you do not know how to install this you can just quickly give it a search online it'll give you a prompt to install these two packages and you can definitely go into your command prompt on your operating system and then paste those prompts in and you can install it you'll need to also install pipx and if you don't have this you need to just go over to the pipx website where they will showcase which command you need to use to install it on your operating system so in this case we have windows you would just simply need to copy this in and paste it into our command prop and install it you will also need an anthropic api key so definitely register if you do not have this already and get the api key because this is something that you will need for this to be functional so once you have fulfilled the prerequisites you can then head over to the installation commands and this is where you can easily just use this command over here or you can install using pipx plus npm now this is something that installs the Python backend and you're going to be basically running this through your command prompt. So what we're going to be doing is pasting in the first command that we see over here in the second section over here, which is pip install dev and agent. Once we have installed the requirements, we can just simply paste it into our command prompt and click enter. Once that is done, it will start installing all the requirements that are needed for dev and agent. Once this is done, we can then copy the next command, which is npm install. Once this is finish installing you can then paste this in and click enter and once all of this is done we can easily start up devon so what we're going to do now is then copy this command over here to set our api key so in this case since we are on windows we will need to keep the set command but if you're on mac os you would just simply keep this command over here so what we'll do now is type in set and then paste this anthropic api key equaling to our api key so we're going to go to Anthropic, generate a new key, 
we're gonna just name it whatever copy this key go back to our command prompt and click enter once that is done we can then simply start up devon by typing in devon and then clicking enter this will initialize the agent to start up and we can see that it's gonna then ask us for what we want devon to generate so this will take a couple seconds actually and once this is done i'm gonna basically ask it to generate a pie game or just this basic snake game so i'll basically type it create me a snake basic snake game create So this is what I told it to create. Create me a basic snake game, create the code, save it to my desktop as a TSD file and click enter. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna start generating different sorts of task lists and it's gonna assign different agents to fulfill those tasks. So we can see once it finishes this basic code, it's gonna start on finding a solution to create this game. And there we go, it has created the snake game for me and it basically generated it into a TXD file. So what we're going to do now is copy this and go into VS Code to see if it's functional. I've already pasted it in and I saved the Pi game file locally on my desktop. And I'm going to click on the play button over here. And we can see that we have a functional game now. So there we go. We were able to generate this game with Devon. And this was something that I was able to do within a couple seconds. This is a fully functional game that you can play on your desktop. And this is just something that was really cool. Now I suck at this game. But let's see if I can get this cube over here. Alright, I just suck. But we can see that it works and you can see that it shows that I lost because I went out of the border. And if you want to start this again, we can just simply click C or we can close this game by just dying and then pressing Q to close it. Now, that was kind of fun to me and I see that this is definitely an amazing framework that you should definitely check a look at. Now, there's multiple different features. You have multi-file editing, which basically allows you to edit multiple files simultaneously. So this will make it so much easier for you to manage larger code bases. You have another feature which is code base exploration and this way you can use Devon to navigate and understand complex code bases effortlessly and it will be able to do this with its exploration tools. You have config writing which is a feature that will automatically generate and edit configuration files so that it can save you time and reduces multiple different errors that may be proposed. You have test writing, which is going to assist you in writing tests, and it's going to ensure your code is reliable and robust. You have bug fixes, as well as architecture exploration. These two features are quite useful because it can identify and fix bugs quickly, and it will explore and understand the overall architecture of your project so that it can make you a better informed design, and it will give you the best decision that is possible. Now, I was just looking at their roadmap, which was highlighting a couple things that they were going to be focusing on. Their current goals are stated over here. They're going to have multimodal support. They're going to be able to launch plugin systems for tool and agent builders, which is really cool. They're going to be creating a self-hosted Electron app. And in my opinion, I really hope that the developers watch this video and they integrate a UI that is a little bit easier to use rather than just using it in your command prompt. This is something that I truly wish that they did work on as it would be super nice for anyone to utilize and use this system. This is definitely a great alternative to Devon, and I truly recommend that you take a look at it. There's a lot more to this, so I'll leave all the links in the description below. Make sure you follow them on Twitter, because they're going to be posting more highlights on their Twitter as well. I'll also be posting this on my Twitter, so make sure you give me a follow. Make sure you turn on the notification bell over here, and take a look at my previous post, because I'm always posting AI news over here on a daily basis. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon page so that you can access different subscriptions completely for free. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.